What's up guys, it's Pragma, today we're going to be covering how to avoid finding this portal if we want to grind at Aukman. Aukman is a great grinding spot and it has a compass piece as well. It can take some time trying to find these portals though and sometimes you will get into the wrong spot anyways. After completing everything in this video, you'll be able to get into Aukman whenever you want. So here's Valley at the top right here, we're going to head east. If you see over here, here is Sand Grain right here where our horse is at. There's Alta Nova to the east of there, Sand Grain Bazaar right here. We're going to start right there. We're gonna head to the southeast into the desert, let's go. You will need a compass, open up the central marketplace and type in compass. Just get three of these and put them together in the form of a hyphen. You will definitely want this because you're gonna be traveling around the desert. This will let you see where you are in the desert when you open up the map. To start the quest line for this, we're gonna head to the southeast and go to the Aukman node manager located right here. Once we get there, we're gonna to talk to Atosa, that's this guy right here. We're gonna get the first part of the quest, hit quest, and then hit Chaotic Aukman Temple. Click through that, pick up the quest. After we pick up that quest, we're gonna head to the north, northwest. Just to the northeast of Sangrain Bazaar, right there, is where we're gonna head to north of Pilgrim's Haven and southwest of Ibalib Oasis. Again, there it is, right there to the northeast of Sangrain Bazaar. Once we get down there, we're gonna head down this little hill over here and talk to Akumsa. We're gonna finish that quest and pick up the next one. It's called Ancient Necklace. Click through that, accept that quest. If we open the quest log, it says that navigation will not work, so we cannot auto path, obviously. Now, if you look here, we're gonna head to the north of Sangrain Bazaar. After that, though, to Shikatu, located north up here. Go ahead and open up the central market and type in Black Spears Claw Piece. We're going to go ahead and order some of these. These are what you're going to be using to get an automatic entrance into Aukman after this quest is complete. When you're in Chikatsu, if you look at the mini map, there's a little path that consists of a triangle looking thing. Head to the north part of there. If you already have the auto search nearby NPC function, you can just type in Chikatsu. Assuming you have the knowledge for him, of course, make sure you hit the Boss Chikatsu option under Valencia. Head up these stairs and go talk to him. We're going to confirm there, go through the quest there, pick up the next quest, which is called Atlassia's Crave. Some of this quest line we can auto-navigate. Luckily, we can with this one here. If we head to the southwest, we can complete the next part of the quest. We're going to head to Basilisk Cave right here. Once we're in the cave, we're going to head to the area of interest. If you head to the wrong one like me, just go to the next one. If you added the wrong one twice in a row like me, head to the next one after that. Remember, you can always auto-path again to see if you can get to the next point of interest automatically. Head to the next area of interest. You'll know it's the right one when you can complete the quest. We're going to complete that, click quest, and start the next one. We're going to open up the log, and luckily we can auto-path to that next part of the quest as well. Kill the mobs here, and then interact with the basin. Hit the Light of Fire option, complete the quest. Head to the next part of the quest, which we can auto-path as well. There it is right there, which looks like the previous area of interest we were at. Complete the quest there and get the Alassia Necklace Pendant. After we accept that next part of the quest, we're going to auto path again and head to the northeast all the way back to Shikatu. This one's a bit of a longer journey, so while we're headed there, we're going to open up an internet browser and look at pictures of cute bunnies because, I mean, come on, look at that. Oh my god, I need a cute bunny in my life. Look at that, it's wearing a little thing. Look, oh my god, I need a bunny. Oh my god, look at that one, it's laying on corn. Oh my god, is that even real? It has a bow. Once we're at Shikachu, we're going to complete that quest and then get the next part of the quest called the Thorough Investigation of the Ruins. We're going to accept that part of the quest and auto-navigate to the next part of the quest, which luckily we can do. This time we're going to head to the southwest. Now when we get to this area here, we're going to find more areas of interest. Again, if you see the white lines pointing up to the sky, that means that's an area of interest. If you find the wrong one like I did, just find the next one. Remember, you can look at them in the sky up above like that, or look on the map. Just head to the next one if you find the wrong ones. Once you find the one that gives you the cord, you can confirm that. Complete the part of the quest. Accept the next one. This one's called Traces of Life. 
Another long journey means, you guessed it, more pictures of bunnies. Oh my god, so cute. They're brothers. Bunnies and cups. Oh my god, so cute. Wait, bunnies and cups? Is this a thing? Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a bunny and a cup. What? I know what I'm doing all night. Talk to Shikatu when you get there. Complete that part of the quest. Why can't this guy get his own accessories? Get the ceremony quest. Accept that. Open up the log again. Luckily, we can navigate to this one as well. We're going to head back to the southwest. This one is to the southwest of Sangrain. Talk to the next area of interest. To complete this one, interact with the altar that's literally right beside you. Throw some silver at that altar. Next, we're going to pick up the Priest Sincerity. Then the Chief Priest Sincerity. We're going to open up the quest log again. It says head to Warragon, so we're going to head there. This is to the east, south of Sandgrain. Once we're there, you know the drill. We're going to interact with another altar. Complete that part of the quest. Pick up the next one. We're going to get a crystal this time. Open up the log, navigate. Oh wait, we can't because it's in the desert. But it does tell us we need to head to Crescent Shrine. Crescent Shrine is to the east of where you are at right now, but it's much easier to get there if you go around and go through Sangrain Bazaar. You can go straight through the mountains, but it's a little bit more difficult that way. Trust me, it's much easier if you head to Sangrain Bazaar to the north and then curve around. Head to the corner of these mountain ridges right here. You're going to want to go through this pathway up here. When you get there, you're going to head uphill. Pass through this narrow little path. Head under this overpass. Head straight here. Now once you're in this area, I headed to the left, which is technically east. Don't be afraid to open up your map. I headed past this monument and then headed to the south past this monument. I went up this hill, I realized I didn't have to. So I jumped down here and then found this bigger monument. Went past there. You're gonna find this giant rock shrine. Make sure you go around it until you find an eagle statue that you're gonna interact with. Complete the quest there and get that crystal. Get the next part of the quest. We're gonna head to Akumsa again, which we were at earlier. As you can see, of course, we cannot auto-navigate because he is in the desert. But we have already been to him. He's not too hard to find. He's just to the northeast of Sangrain Bazaar and to the southwest of Ibl of Oasis. Find him again. And then this time we're gonna give him all these accessories. We're almost done with the quest line. Awesome, the Black Spirit is gonna try talking to you. Find the Atosis attachment quest. Accept that. We can't go to the next part of the quest automatically, but remember he's the first guy that we talked to to start the quest line. Underneath the Aukman node. So we're gonna go find Atosa, confirm, and then go to the next part of the quest. We're gonna pick up the next part. As you can see, he does give us a scroll. Pick up the next quest. Now it says we need to head to Valencia Castle to use this scroll. It's gonna summon a little mini boss. This next part of the quest is to the northeast of Valencia. Remember, it's that Valencia Castle, not Valencia Castle site. You can see the icon right here. Now, once we get here, we're going to head uphill. Right now, we're approaching it from the south. It's not too hard to find. Just go underneath the pathway, head to the northeast-ish, head in this little tunnel, keep traveling down. This is the same way we're going to get out of here as well, unless you have a map and can teleport out. Once you find this circle on the ground, we're going to open up that scroll. We're going to fight this boss. He's not too hard to kill. We're going to complete that part of the quest. 
We can't auto path to the next part, which is of course back to Atosa. We are officially done, just come back to him and talk to him and complete that quest line. He says we can enter the temple by finding him. All we need is the Black Spirit's Claw, which he does give us one of. And there we go, if we hit the chat button, we can hit Teleport Aukman Temple, baby! Now we can go into Aukman Temple as long as we have a Black Spirit's Claw. All you gotta do is head to the southeast of Sangrim Bazaar and find a Tosa at the Aukman Node. The first couple of times you may need to keep using a compass to find him. Eventually though you'll memorize where he's at. Guys thank you so much for checking out my videos today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to go follow me at twitch.tv slash itspragma and don't forget to like the video. Grind harder baby!